record. Without objection. Mr. President, two years ago, on the 49th, 49th anniversary of the crossing of the Edmund Pettus Bridge by a bunch of brave citizens who challenged the United States to do what was right and make voting rights equal for everybody, I walked across the Edmund Pettus Bridge with Congressman John Lewis from my state. John Lewis is 75 years old this year and continues to be a leader for civil rights and for passion. This past weekend in, in Selma, Alabama, he led the President of the United States, President Obama, the past President of the United States, President George W. Bush, and over 100 members of Congress across the Edmund Pettus Bridge. For us to reflect and remember on the last 50 years and what's happened in this country, where voting rights have gone from being a dream to a reality, from where equality for men and women and people of all races now exists. It would not have happened were it not for a few good men and a few good women who at their time in history responded to history's call. John Lewis was one of those people. I am proud to serve with him in the Georgia delegation to the United States Congress, and I'm proud of all that he's done to make America a better place to live. So in this year in which he celebrates his 75th anniversary, and on the 50th anniversary of the crossing of the Edmund Pettus Bridge, I pay tribute to a great citizen of Georgia, a great American, and a great humanitarian, John Lewis, the congressman from the Atlanta, city of Atlanta and the state of Georgia. And I yield back the balance of my time.